Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Cars games on the Wii. Cars is one of the most beloved time games, and not for no reason. You get free room. You can roam Radiator Springs and its surroundings, and the map is huge for that time. And the gameplay is awesome too, you even have 4 ways to race. You have option 1, break and turn, you can power slide, you can handbrake to drift, or you can go even on 2 wheels. And you don't just race, you get to play with different characters too, and fulfill different tasks, like going with Mater to scare tractors, or chasing down people as the sheriff, or collect tires as Luigi. And not only this, the game is chock full of content. You can race as a monster truck, you can have a derby with rusty cars, you can just chill in Radiator Springs, which is incredibly beautiful at night. All in all, the game is a masterpiece. It's a love letter to all Cars fans out there. Playing this game gives you a nostalgia trip for sure. And the good type of nostalgia trip. Since this game, even for adult standards, is pretty good. Cars Mate International Championship has the same game engine and gameplay formula as the previous one. It has free roam and lots and lots of content. As differences I can list the new story, obviously, the track designs are different, they are more complex now having more narrow passages and tight turns, you'll need to drift or slow down more in the more complicated tracks here and there than in the previous game. Also the car physics are different, they aren't better or worse, they are just different. Also there are no piston cups and no Sally, Mac or Chick. Those characters were cut out. And in their place you get this rally cars Bruh. with annoying personalities. There is a new race mode, the relay races where you switch characters at each checkpoint and you get the same mini games as in the previous one, plus this one. Overall, even if the game is very similar to the other one, I consider it poorer than Cars 2006. It's hard to describe it, but once you start playing you can notice that this game is more rushed. The content isn't as cohesive as in the other one, and the writing is more rushed too, but even so, it still remains a really solid and great game. Cars Racerama uses the same great gameplay formula the other games used. You get free room, lots of races and mini games. The controls are better now, giving you more control when driving, the graphics are better and the map is much much more larger. The game is fantastic, and not only for tying game standards. It's enjoyable for normal game standards too. Also they nailed in this game what made the first one great. The sheer amount of content. Here you get lots of mini games and not only this, but you get more tracks and even ones that aren't set in Radiator Springs or the Piston Cup. And the game even inclines me to call it the best out of the Free Roam trilogy, as the drift controls are awesome. Just cruising through Radiator Springs is awesome with these controls. You can drift radiator springs from one end to the other, like some sort of sick combo moves in Need for Speed Carbon. And not only that you get the controls, but you also get new maps to roam in, and new mini games, so that the game remains the same content powerhouse it was from the beginning. Cars 2 changes the gameplay formula. You don't get free roam anymore and you don't get a story either. You have a hub and can select missions from there. Also the racing isn't just racing anymore, the game is a kart racer, but at least it's a good kart racer. The controls are nice and with the extra controls like the ability to jump or tilt your car in ways a normal car can't, the handling is very good. Also aside of kart racing, you get battle arenas too and collectathlon races, you get a big cast of characters, 35, and you can add 23 more via downloadable content. The tracks look great. And so do the graphics overall. The gameplay is great, but having a story would have made this game way better. Mater Tall Tales is a pretty bad game. I think they made this game for the sake to milk some money out of a franchise. But on the other hand, you can see that they tried, but their idea failed. You can feel a severe lack of polish in the game. You start the game by creating your character, the menu is ok there, but it also feels a little clunky. Then you select one of the tales and start playing a series of minigames. Each tale is actually a series of minigames. It's nice that you always get new content and new gameplay mechanics, but problem is, it sounds good on paper. 
that you get a new minigame one after the other, but problem is, the minigames are bad. Like, really clunky and bad. Almost all of them. So, even if you get variety, no gameplay is actually satisfying. It feels like a string of poorly made minigames. So, that's it about the game. For some, it might work, but I consider it a bad game. Maybe I'm too harsh and the devs tried to make the project great, but in my opinion it's own ambitiousness that you get a string of minigames got the best of it. So even if the game has variety, I haven't enjoyed any of the minigames. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and tell reveal thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.